वेलकम टू डिफेंस एंड स्पेस न्यूज टीवी इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर डेली अपडेट सो लेट्स बिगिन टू दिस वीडियो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट अपडेट द अपग्रेडेड वर्जन ऑफ द थर्ड जनरेशन एंटी टैंक हेलिना मिसाइल द एयर टू ग्राउंड वर्जन हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली टेस्टेड एट द पोकरण फील्ड फायर रेंज इन जैसलमेर डिस्ट्रिक्ट द फ्लाइट टेस्ट ऑफ द मिसाइल वाज सक्सेसफुली कंडक्टेड बाय डीआरडीओ एंड द अदर ऑफिसर्स ऑफ इंडियन एयर फोर्स The spike anti-tank guided missile has been developed by DRDO's research center Imarat in association with Indian Air Force and is an upgraded version of Helena missile which had range of 7 to 8 km. The new missile has range of 15 to 20 km and is equipped with new nose mounted active radar seeker to help keep the launch platform at a safe distance to avoid defensive fire from the target areas. So says said all the mission objective were met during the trials of the spike anti tank guided missile in which a dummy target of tank was destroyed and the missile has been successfully flight tested for different ranges including the maximum range and capability in Pokhran field fire range The missile is guided by an infrared imaging seeker operating in the lock on before launch mode It is one of the most advanced anti tank weapon in the world So says said the missile was tested for its infrared imaging seeker with a far greater resolution than what has been tested earlier as per the demand of the users a higher version seekers with a much higher focal plan array as compared to the original plan has been tested next update the air force unit of the us and india are going to participate in exercise in india a bilateral flying training program next month at two crucial air base in west bengal Air Force Station Kolaikunda in West Midnapur and Air Force Station Arjun Singh at Panagar in Bardwan. The exercise will be held from 3 December to 14th December. Significantly, Air Force Station Arjun Singh is the second hub of C130J Super Hercules aircraft of the Indian Air Force. And also Naval Forces of India and United Kingdom stated a 9 day long bilateral exercise named Konkan in Arabian Sea on Thursday. While the harbor phase of the exercise will be last for the first 3 day the sea phase of the exercise will be begin on 2nd December both navies have over the years undertaken bilateral activities such as training exchanges and technical cooperation the thrust of the exercise this year would be on anti air warfare anti surface warfare anti submarine warfare visit board searches and swizer and sea main ship evaluation the indian navy said in a statement The Indian Navy has fielded INS Kolkata, the first ship of the latest Kolkata class destroyer equipped with an integral seeking helicopter and a sub. Next update, Air Force ship BS Dhanwa said that the Air Force will have the first Rafale jet by 2019. Dhanwa, who was in Guwahati on Thursday to attend program of presentation standards to 118 helicopters unit and color to air defense college while taking to media said that the, there is no delay in rafale program he also said process of induction of 231 light combat aircraft is in pipeline we are supposed to induct a number of fighters we have floated a request for information for 114 fighter aircraft there was a proposal to induct lca in a big numbers and with this total number of lca squadron will go up to 12 LCA Mark 1A Core Squadron 83 aircrafts, LCA Mark 2 Six Squadron 180 aircrafts. So total of 12 squadron and 231 aircrafts. This will be the largest induction of indigenous aircraft ever in the country. In addition, this is in a RFI stage. From this, we will come out with operational requirements. And once the operational requirements is ready, then we will go back to the government for acceptance of necessity base on which we will issue request for proposal for the fighter procurement program. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, comment, and stay with us.